So welcome back to my new video. In this video I will show you how to make your own cap pack. And for that, as a frame, I'm going to use these 3D prints, which holds the capacitors. This is my 6S ESC. And in this ESC, they have put three capacitors of 470 microfarad. And you have these bigger ones of 680. But those are all too small. As you can see, they won't fit the base plate. So I am going to use these big ones with a capacity of 2200 microfarads. And I'm going to use 10. I'm going to place them in series and I'll show you step by step how to do that. If you are interested in these uh, 3D prints, I'm going to post a link below where you can download these for free. Enjoy the video. So I'm going to start with placing the capacitors and then fix them in position with a little bit of hot glue. Then at the bottom of the 3D print, I have made these small nudges where I can where I can press the connectors into and then it's going to be something like this 10 times So make sure you have all capacitors lined up with the correct positive and negative to each side. Now I'm going to use 10 gauge wire to connect them all. But first I'm going to build my setup for soldering it so it won't move. So now I'm going to strip this 10 gauge wire and then split the core between the two sides. It's about here.
Now it's time to split the core. So now I'm going to cut off the excess length of each capacitor and then tuck it in to the core of the 10 gauge wire. Let me just add a little bit of soldering flux to each connection. Now solder it. So now I'll just tidy it up a little bit to make sure there's no short circuit between the positive and the negative side. And then I can close it up. And so now the moment of truth to see if it all fits. It fits okay. The nudges in the 3D print could have been a bit bigger, so they would have closed without a gap. So for the next time, I should make the nudges inside the 3D print a little bit bigger. For now, I'm going to fix this problem to, by putting some hot glue in between to prevent dirt from getting in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close these two, these two holes up with some hot glue and this seam I'm going to use my soldering iron to melt them shut because it is 3D printable plastic so you can reheat it as long as you don't burn it. So let's cut away the excess of plastic along the side and then put a heat shrink around it. So the heat shrink that I have won't fit. It's just a few millimeters too small. So what I'm going to use is, I'm going to use this water bottle. So 
So this is great. This offers uh, the protection uh, that it needs. So I'm gonna trim down the edges so it looks a little bit better. Let's connect it to a 3S battery and then see what happens. Charge it up. So I have this small setup that I had lying around with a 12 volt car horn. Let's see what happens. Ah, that's it. Okay, so it works. Now let's find a car to put it in. I'll put the link in the description for the download of the 3D model. So you can build one on your own. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.